What's good, YouTube? Mitch Harris has taken that eighth place coveted spot at the Werribee Australia Regionals. So let's go ahead and get into this deck profile and tournament report. Three Full Flame, three Gold Driver, three Silvered, three Steel, and two Bismagir, triple Bumbuku, one Kieran, double Eccentric, double Amorphage Sloth. So main decking that huge Floodgate. Uh, very good against several decks, including the Mirror Match. Good against AVCs for keeping Buster from being able to come out. One Luster, triple Chaos Hunter, triple Gofu, one Rabbit, one Tour Guide, double Painful Decision, double Desires, a Fusion, a full Metal Pose Fusion, one Counter, one Emptiness, and one Combo. Double Crim or, uh, one Crimsonite, one Oricalc, double Mithrilium, double uh, Alkahist, one Vermilion Dragon, so this is pretty good. Because you can do plays like popping your own uh, sets and getting your own uh, counter off. Does some cool things. One Void Ogre Dragon. One Ignister. One Scrap Dragon. One Black Rose. We got Castell Breaksword. A Grand Pulse. And an Engineer. We have Triple Kumungus. Double Jalgen. Triple System Down. Triple MST. Double Book of Eclipse. And Double Dimensional Barrier. Uh, so it's Chaos Hunter Metal Pose featuring Dino Rabbit. And dropping that mixtape. And uh, I decided to play Chaos Hunter and Morphage Sloth in the main due to the, amount, due to the amount of ABC decks I expected for the event. At the event, they were less than I expected, but in the end, overall, I value these cards as success. Tour Guide was going for uh, first and making Engineer to protect Alkahist or to go second and bake out, bait out strikes and to pop Anti-Spell through the uh, Break Sword and Grand Pulse. Two Alkahist, I feel, is the correct amount by far as it comes up a couple of times today. Taking something and Full Metal Foes fusioning during my opponent's turn using Alkahist and a Metal Foe on my hand slash field to make a second Alkahist to take something else was great and forced a couple of instant scoops. I chose not to play Zulk in Crystal Wing as with uh, Karen and Alkahist Sloth I already have things stopping monsters relevancy, so I figured Void Ogre was, uh, uh excuse me, first deck list. just woke up today, guys. I already have things stopping monsters relevancy, so I figured Void Ogre would always be the correct play instead. Matchups, Metal Foe 2-1, round 2 ABC 2-0, two, two, oh, round 3 Lost to Minerva 1-2, I'll have that deck profile for you up. Round 4, Mermail Toad 2-1. Round 5, ABC, 0-2, worst perk I've ever had. And round 6, Amorphage, 2-0. Props to this dude being that high up. This was late into the tournament, but this match was the best opening of the day. Both games I won in about 10 minutes. Also, fun fact, I won only one dice roll, and it was the last round. So, the game that he had his best hands. Interesting that, uh, just a personal note, he was so prepared for ABC, and it's, uh, one of the two decks that beat him besides the $1,000 paywall. This list is still open to more testing, so I'm not sure what I would change, uh, if anything. Maybe end up taking the Hunters out, maining the Barriers instead, as there was not much, uh, AB, as much ABC as I expected. Maybe even try to main Book of Eclipse as it was the nuts today. Shoutouts to my boys, Team Construct, especially Josh for building the deck with me and also check out our youtube there will be a uh, deck profile highlighting this deck posted um but he did not leave me a link for his youtube so hopefully he comments below with it uh yeah there's there's no link sorry man so uh yeah mitch harris uh and here are his uh metal foes from werribee australia eighth place Taking that uh, nice extra cushy spot of uh, you didn't know if you would make it or not. Good job, man.